Our task at Roche is to find ways to help our immune system fight not only infections, but to enhance it so it can also fight cancer. And our research has given us the understanding and opportunity to do exactly that. Recent research into cancer immunotherapy and human immune biology has led to two innovative approaches to treating cancer from the Roche research and development teams. One of these exciting approaches is the ability to understand how best to separate out all of human cancer, of which there are over 200 known types, into just three primary immune profiles. We refer to these profiles as first, inflamed tumors, second, immune excluded tumors, and third, immune deserts. When thinking about these profiles, we like to think of an army of immune cells, also known as T-cells. When the tumor is inflamed, it has an army of T-cells armed and ready to attack the cancer from inside the castle grounds of the tumor. We call the castle grounds the tumor microenvironment. When the tumor is described as immune excluded, you can imagine the T-cell army is ready to attack but is unable to scale the walls or cross the moat of the castle in order to attack effectively. Finally, the immune desert is exactly as it sounds. There is a tumor, but no T-cell army is present to mount an attack. Now, the importance of understanding that type of biology is that we can start to be very specific about what we are trying to do in any person that presents with one of these immune profiles. This allows us to apply different treatment strategies to target the individual immune biology, ensuring that the individual has the best chance of a response to a specific treatment. We now understand that by using this vital information, together with another approach to personalizing treatments, we can target specific immune biologies even further. The cancer immunity cycle is a framework that my friend and colleague, Dan Chen and I devised, which helps to describe how a tumor interacts with the immune system. We've broken that down into seven major steps. Here's Dan to explain the seven steps. The cancer immunity cycle is a framework that helps to describe how a tumor interacts with the human immune system. In step one, this is where cancer cells die and they release antigens, protein bits of themselves. Step two, those little protein bits can get picked up by antigen presenting cells, things like dendritic cells that pick them up and then migrate to local draining lymph nodes. In step three of the cancer immunity cycle, those antigen-presenting cells can present those little protein bits from the cancer cells to T cells. And when things are working correctly, those T cells will become activated against those little protein bits from the cancer cells. Step four, this is when activated T cells will now enter into the bloodstream and go anywhere in the body looking for tumor deposits. In step five, the T cells have arrived at a location of the tumor and now need to infiltrate into the tumor by leaving the blood vessel and entering into the tumor microenvironment. Step six, the T cells are in the tumor microenvironment and now have to recognize a cancer cell. And the T cells can do this very specifically. They are targeted to very specific protein bits. And so if they find those protein bits on the surface of a cancer cell, they will recognize that cancer cell. And now we get to the ever important step seven. Step seven, an activated T cell has recognized a cancer cell, but now it actually has to kill that cancer cell. That's an important step. There are many inhibitory factors that can prevent a T cell in step seven from actually killing those cancer cells. Blocking PDL1 and or other inhibitory factors may be one way to allow those activated T cells that recognize the cancer cell to kill it. And once that happens, you start the cycle all over again. So now that we understand the cancer immunity cycle, we can ask, whom do you give a cancer immunotherapy to, and which cancer immunotherapy is most likely to achieve the best results for an individual patient? Armed with this level of knowledge and with a detailed map of the potential treatments and pathways, we are now able to target specific steps of the cancer immunity cycle, which will help our own bodies fight cancer, hopefully taking us a step closer to personalizing cancer immunotherapy treatments for individual tumors and people.